Hello again. Now in the last video, we set up um, a DHCP server on PFSense so that it would give IP addresses automatically to the hosts that would join the network. But now, I've got another host here that I want to get on that network too. But the problem is, if I, uh, you know, plug in here, I've got nowhere to physically plug it into the router, okay? There's only one, one port there. There's only one place to plug in. So if I unplug that and plug this one in, this one will probably be good. Look at this, IP address. It gets one, it gets the, ah, look at that, it gets the dot 11, which was the next one in the, in the uh, scope, called a DHCP scope, and probably ping things as well. Okay, so that's all good and well, it works. But the problem is I want both of them on. There's no point having just one port. So what we need is one of these, a switch. Okay, now this is a network switch. It has, uh, this is an old one. It has eight ports on the back. And basically its purpose is, is really simple. It lets you plug more devices in together. Okay, so I want more than one device to have comms with that router. So I'm gonna plug one of these in. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just power that up. All right. Okay, so it's got a power light on there. And one of the ports, usually the top port, which in this one is port eight, there's only eight ports on it. And I plug that into the, um, the router. And you see, I don't know if you can see, the um, port eight light has come up, okay? So once that's in there, I then have a whole bunch of other ports here that I can use, okay? So I could plug this computer into port one. Okay, let's see if it pings Google. Okay, here it is. And this other computer over here, I just plug that into port two. Okay, so they're all lit up there and this can probably ping Google as well. Okay, so now we're starting to build a network. So the simple point of that switch is to let you plug more things in where obviously we can't plug anything more than one into the router itself. So that's a, an eight port switch. Okay, now here, I've got an example of an average kind of home router that people might have, something similar. And on the back here, I'll just show you, you've got these four ports here. Now that is a four port switch. Same as this is an eight port switch, but this is just a switch. That's all it does, right? This is a four port switch that's part of this whole unit. So I'm doing the routing over here in a VM, a virtual machine, running PFSense as the uh, router. This has a router built in. So one part of this inside is the router and this part here is doing the switch. So we've just got them separate, separate here, okay? Which gives you greater control generally. Rather than being a jack of all trades, master of none, what we're gonna do is build up a real network where we have dedicated devices doing their particular task. Okay, so I'll leave that there for now. I just wanted to uh, show you what a switch is and how to connect um, more than one wired network host into a network. Obviously, we couldn't plug them into one port over here, so we had to put a switch in. Now, as I said, this switch is just a switch, whereas the router, we call it a router, but it's a router switch, access points, a whole bunch of things, okay, with a four port switch on the side. Either way, you're gonna need a switch of some sort if you wanna put multiple uh, wide network hosts onto your network. So I know I haven't gone into depth on how exactly this switch works, but I will do that in upcoming videos. For now, I just wanna get a setup running so we've got something to use, and then in later videos, I'll go through in much more detail how they're actually working. We will get very detailed. But um, I'll, I'll save that for a later date. And uh, in the next video, we'll, we'll build this even more and add something to it. And gradually, we'll get there. So uh, until then, take it easy. <laughs>